Half a world away from Myanmar, hundreds of Rohingya have found a distant refuge in America's Midwest. But for many, like Abdul-Jabbar Amanullah, their thoughts are of home. There, relatives send pictures and videos of their villages on fire. This makes me uh, very sad. And I mean, even though I'm here in safety in the United States, even I'm a uh, permanent resident here, so I feel uh, not happy. Some 400 Rohingya families, about 1,500 people, have moved here to Chicago. In the city's Rohingya Cultural Center, they gather for help in applying for jobs and get medical advice. They also come to plead for help for their relatives in Myanmar, or as many still call it, Burma. Only solution, U.S. military and United Nations, because China, India, everyone is silent. Send immediately uh, force military in Burma, save life of innocent people. They need their, your help. Those here are learning to speak English. And they're starting from scratch. Part of their uh, persecution in Burma is that they have no real access to state education, certainly. Um, so when they get to America to be resettled, they can be 40, 50, even 60 years old and have no education whatsoever, which means when we're teaching English, we have to start right at the beginning with the phonetic alphabet and just the sounds of the language and build up from there. They come here to Devon Avenue. Some call it the most diverse street in America, landing place of each successive wave of immigrant to Chicago, from Eastern Europeans to Orthodox Jews, Pakistanis, Indians, and now the Rohingya. Here they form their own community where they share their own store and their own worries. I'm worrying about their safety and also about the foods uh, because the government not allowed any aid, international aid or United Nations aid. As they fear for those they left behind, the Rohingya here comfort themselves in knowing at least they've brought some of them to safety. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.